Hello and welcome to Finnish with Anna. You'll learn Finnish here in short, palatable lessons with a native speaker. In this lesson, our topic is housing, asuminen. In Finland, people typically live in houses, apartment buildings and row houses or terraced houses. Unlike in the US, for example, most suburbs, especially in the cities, have a majority of apartment buildings. This has its roots in history. After the Second World War, Finland was impoverished and needed a lot of homes for Karelian war evacuees and the growing families. Also, people started moving into cities more. An apartment building can house many people without taking a lot of land, so this was a good solution at the time. Most apartment buildings in Finland are quite small, so apartment buildings with three to five stories are quite common. Wood has traditionally been a material that can be found easily in Finland, so wooden houses are common, and also brick houses. Apartment buildings come in many styles, which tend to reflect the decade in which they were built. It is the Finnish dream to own your house or apartment, so many people take mortgages. Other forms of living are still quite prevalent though, like renting and right of occupancy. Here is some housing-related vocabulary. If you want to repeat this, please do so straight away, as I won't be repeating these a second time. A home, koti. At home, kotona. An apartment, asunto. A house, either talo or omakotitalo. A row house or a terraced house, Rivitalo. A semi-detached house. Paritalo. A farm. Maatila. A garden. Puutarha. A terrace. Terassi. A balcony. Parveke. Good. Here I have some photos of various Finnish homes. This one is a more modern wooden house. This house is probably a bit older, but again it's a wooden house. This represents the modern style with clean lines and not that many colors. These are so-called rintamamiestalo. These kind of standardized houses were built a lot after the Second World War when there was urgent need for housing. Here is a more modern apartment building. Nowadays the balconies often have glass all around and you can open and close the glass panels. These are slightly older apartment buildings, probably from the 1960s or the 1970s. Apartment buildings are often built near each other, and they have a shared yard with children's playground items and benches. Here is one shared yard. This rug over here is meant for rug cleaning and airing. Row houses are houses that have several apartments in a row. They usually have a small yard or garden on one side, and they can have one story or two stories. Here you can see a one-story row house. And this one is a two-story row house. They often have shared yards too. And lastly, another two-story row house, with each apartment having a little garden of their own. Next, I have vocabulary of different rooms and spaces in a home. Huoneita. A hallway or a hall. Eteinen. A living room or a family room. Olohuone. A kitchen. Keittiö. A bedroom. 
Makuuhuone. A bathroom. Kylpyhuone. A toilet. Either WC or vessa. An office. Työhuone. A dining room. Ruokailuhuone. Stairs. Either portaat or rappuset. An attic. Ullakko. A basement. Kellari. Good. And here we have some furniture. Huonekaluja. A table. Pöytä. A dining table. Ruokapöytä. A chair. Tuoli. An armchair. Noja tuoli. A sofa or a couch. Sohva. A bed. Sänky. A nightstand. Yöpöytä. A desk. Työpöytä. A dresser. Lipasto. A closet or a cupboard. Kaappi. Nice. And some more furniture. Huonekaluja. A fridge. Jääkaappi. A freezer. Pakastin. A stove. Hella. An oven. Uuni. A washing machine. Pesukone. A shower. Suihku. A bathtub. Kylpyamme. A sink. In the kitchen, this is called diskiallas. In the bathroom, it is called pesuallas or lavuari. A bookshelf. Kirjahylly. A lamp. Lamppu. Great. I also have some miscellaneous housing-related vocabulary, sekalaista. The ceiling or the roof, katto. The floor, lattia. A wall, seinä. Walls, seinät. A door, ovi. The front door. Ulko ovi. The back door. Taka ovi. A socket or a wall plug. Pistorasia. A handle. Kahva. Curtains. Verhot. A pillow. Tyyny. A bedspread. Päiväpeitto. A duvet. Takki. Good. And lastly, here are a few useful terms and sentences. I will be repeating these a second time. For sale. Myydään or myytävät. For rent, vuokrataan or vuokrattavat. Square meter, neliömetri or neliö. And this is the measurement used in Finland to measure houses or apartments. I want to buy, rent an apartment, a house. Haluan ostaa, vuokrata, asunnon, talon. I live in a row house, apartment building, house. Asun rivitalossa, 
kerrostalossa, omakotitalossa. A studio, a two-room apartment or house, three-room apartment or house, four-room apartment or house. Yksiö, kaksio, kolmio, neljä huonetta. How many square meters does this apartment or house have? Kuinka monta neljötä tässä asunnossa, talossa on? So, let's repeat this. Myydään. Myytävät. Vuokrataan. Vuokrattavat. Neliömetri. Neliö. Haluan ostaa, vuokrata asunnon, talon. Asun rivitalossa. Kerrostalossa. Omakotitalossa. Yksiö. Kaksio. Kolmio. Neljä huonetta. Kuinka monta neliötä tässä asunnossa talossa on? Great. And if any of my viewers are thinking of living in Finland and need a rental apartment, here are some links. The first one also has a myytävät for sale section. Cities do offer affordable apartments, but unfortunately, those are often not easy to get. That was it for today. Thanks for tuning in. Kiitos kun katsoit. If you enjoy my videos, please consider subscribing to my channel and giving this video a thumbs up. Thanks. Nähdään ensi kerralla. See you next time. Moikka!